sometimes Revit refers to families as families, and sometimes Revit refers to them as components. Um, it's not very consistent in what it calls these things. Um, however, they are just two, wor two words for the same thing. Um, so to start off, um, talk about the different kinds of families that there are in Revit. We've got basically three kinds of families. We've got what are called system families, loadable families, and in-place families. What we're going to talk about today are what is what Revit refers to as loadable families. System families are families like walls, um, floors, ceilings, etc. Um, they are the things that sort of make the building. The loadable families are the things that get put into a building. So it's things like casework, furniture, doors and windows, etc. And then in-place families are those kind of unique conditions where um, it's a, something like a fireplace or um, a slanted wall or something like that. Um, but today we're going to talk about load loadable families. Another thing that I wanted to mention um, about families is that you have some families that can be cut and some that cannot. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's when you're looking at a floor plan and the floor plan is typically cut at a, about a four foot high level. Uh, and if a family is, is high enough to actually cross that four foot level, some families will actually show being sliced through, just like a wall or a door does, um, and some families will not, and they will just show as, they're, as if you were looking down straight at the family, and it will look complete and whole. Um, families that don't cut are things like electrical equipment, um, furniture, uh, planting, uh, plumbing fixtures, things like that. Families that do cut are doors, windows, casework, um, generic models, etc. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to build a piece of casework, uh, something that everyone is probably familiar with. Um, but it's, it's a very simple family, but it involves a lot of, of the basic parameters and a lot of the basic uh, tools that you're going to use to build just about any family in Revit. So to start a family, from the, the opening screen here, we just go to under Families, we click on New, and Revit should take you to where all of your templates are, your family templates. And it's got a, a template for every different category that exists in Revit. And so, for example, I can click on Casework, I can open up the Casework template, but as you can see, when I open up the casework template, there are dimensions already in here. Um, you've got reference planes defined. If I go to the front view, you can see it's got a height parameter already in here. Um, and this is fine if that is what you're looking for. However, I tend to be a little bit of a control freak when I'm making these things. And so I like to start from scratch. I like to, to do everything myself. So, I can do that. I can't do it with the casework template, however. So what I'm going to do is go to New, and I can scroll down to Generic Model, open up this one, and the Generic Model template is empty. There's nothing in it except for these two reference planes. If I go to the front panel, or the front view, uh, you can see there's no parameters in here. It's just the reference level and the, the reference plane, and that's it. So this is the, the template that I like to use quite often for things, um, but not every single time. Um, if I'm creating a curtain panel, for example, I will definitely use the curtain panel template because that's a very specific type of family, and it has some built-in things about it in those templates that you're going to need. But for something like casework, there's nothing really special about that particular category, so I can start here. But right now, this is a generic model family because I opened up the generic model template. So how do I switch it from a generic model to a piece of casework? It's a very simple process. You just go up to the Home tab, click on this tab or this button right here, and it lists all of the categories that you can switch. Now. Some categories that you start with, you can't switch later on. Uh, but with generic model, you can switch to almost any category. So I'm going to scroll up here to casework, click on casework, say OK. And now this family is a piece of casework and, and not a generic model. Now I'm going to click on that again just to double check and go back. And you can see casework is highlighted. 
and I know that it's a casework family.